Good morning, everyone. Today is the second Sunday after the Epiphany, which is the celebration of God's incarnation and revelation in Jesus Christ. And we're continuing with the UMC's Connecting Faith and Justice curriculum, exploring how God is revealed in our own lives, in our efforts for justice. Last week, Neely invited us to consider what mercy and justice personally mean to us. Today, we'll look at a story of Samuel and how he was called by God. Then, we'll consider how this scripture relates to our own lives, how we've been called by God, in what ways we struggle to acknowledge that call, and what opportunities for prophetic truth-telling we see in our world today. But for now, let us move on to our announcements and our prayer requests. First, we want to remind you that our evening Zoom meditations are still going on. They're led by Ingrid, Neely, and Nicole on Wednesdays from 6.30 to 7 p.m. And you can find posts with the link on our Facebook page. And, of course, you can continue to come to this Sunday morning worship series. We gather at 9 a.m. for coffee together and to connect with one another. And then we enter into worship at 9.30. As for prayer requests, we ask that you pray for Joyce coming home from the hospital. Richard, who has spoken again after five years. Also, please pray for Gary and Tanya, um, those suffering with COVID, as well as those who have loved ones who suffer from it. And let us also pray for the transition of presidential leadership within our country. Today, it's quite possible there will be further white supremacist violence at our nation's capitals. And so our continued work for justice and support of one another in a community such as this one remains deeply sacred. If you have any other announcements or prayers to add, I invite you to leave them in the comment section below so that other people in our community can see them and pray. And finally, as you head into worship, and take a moment to check in with yourself and see how you're feeling this morning. Ask yourself, is there anything I need to give to God for the next short while so that I can feel more present during this worship space? You can keep whatever that may be to yourself, or again, you can feel free to leave a comment below because it's quite possible someone else can relate. So as I light this candle, let it be a reminder that God is with you and God is with all that you carry as well during this time. Amen.